What's happening, film friends? David the Film Chunky here, and I'm gonna bring you some movie news you can find on your own, but I'm gonna find it for you and tell you about it. Ow. Appreciate you guys clicking in, so let's talk some movies. Batman vs. Superman, you know I always start off every show like that. And uh, Guy Henry, I think that's what his name was, he sent me a message saying, hey, appreciate all the Batman vs. Superman info. He loves that he can get content info from me. Hey, man, I appreciate giving you the info as well as everybody else. Hey, I got a love for movies, especially, and a love for Batman and superheroes and crap like that. Just a big dork, yeah, of course. So, of course, I love talking about it. So let's talk about it, and Ben Affleck, well, he talks a little bit more about his Batman. That's right. We already got some info from him, but he's kind of been keeping, you know, you know, low key, he's been, been low key about it. But he talks about it again, he talks about how at first he was like, nah, I don't wanna do this, this is not for me. What are you talking about? I'm not Batman. Which shows you something there, guys. At first, he didn't wanna do it because he didn't feel he was right until he saw what Zack Snyder and David Gore wanted to do with the character, then he was just totally on board. So, eh, you know, right there, right there just gives you hope because Ben Affleck has become like this avid storyteller with his movies that he's directed and co-written. And if he saw something, at first he was just like, no, 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 I can't do this, I don't know about this. And all of a sudden he saw, oh. Oh. Come on, that's just a little hope right there. I don't know about you, but that just, that instills a lot of hope in me. If you want to read all that, what he had to say, I'll have the article down below in the balls there. Check it out, let me know what you think. And yes, we're still saddened by the news of Batman vs Superman being delayed. And we figured, okay, so, that means the production is delayed, so we're not going to see the bat suit for a while. God damn it! Well, it turns out the production schedule might be okay. I don't think there's going to be a delay for it at all. There's been rumors that they are still planning on shooting next month, which is very exciting. The only thing that kind of contradicts that is when all the Gal Gadot, Gadot news came out about her being Wonder Woman, three picture deal, and how much she was making. They said in the information, or she said, that she starts filming in May. So we just all thought, okay, it's starting to film. Maybe not. Maybe they're gonna do a bunch of stuff beforehand and this may might show that maybe she's not like in the picture that much. So she's not gonna be a, a high presence. So that means yes, it's just the two motherfucking guys. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but next month, man, it's gonna be a good month. End of the month, it's a short month, and we, you know, we heard the rumor that bat suit might be showing off the end of the month. Oh, I'm excited for it. Let me know what you guys think down below. Sequels and prequels. X-Men Days of Future Past, they're teaming up with Empire Magazine because I guess Empire Magazine is turning 25 or some shit like that. Anyways, yesterday was X-Men Day and Brian Singer posted, hey, we're going to be posting a new magazine cover for Empire with a different X-Men character on it for each hour. It's pretty cool, especially when you saw this. Yeah, Jennifer Lawrence, blue and naked. Just the way I like it. If you want to check out all 25 covers, I will have the article down below in the balls area for you to check out. Click it. Check all the magazine covers. They're pretty cool. Let me know what you think. Casting news. And in casting news, looks like Wolverine is going to, well, Neverland. Yes, Joe Wright's untitled Peter Pan project, which was initially, it was at first, it was called Pan. And I guess they're just changing it to something now. It's Joe Wright's untitled Peter Pan movie. Well, Hugh Jackman has been cast as Blackbeard. That's right. He actually fits the profile very well. I mean, he's a hairy dude. He... I swear. I... You gotta wonder, how many times has, when Hugh Jackman is like, mm, he has Wolverine, yeah. how many times has he, like, accidentally farted? These are the kinds of things I think about when the power goes out. And what's funny about this movie, it's going head to head against Ant-Man, July 17th to 2015, which was originally supposed to be for baby Superman, but it's okay. They needed two movies to fill in that one movie, bitch. It's kind of silly though, because Ant-Man's obviously gonna be the winner out of that one, but it's okay. Whatever. And to wrap up the show today, Quentin Tarantino, remember all the hoopla about his Hateful Eight script that got leaked out, and he wasn't sure he did it? Well, it turns out he's suing the, well, it's, I don't know what kind of website it is, but it's called Gawker, basically, and uh, it posts a bunch of stuff. It's basically almost like a big message board. Like, a lot of people post stuff within there, and I guess um, that was one of the sources that actually posted the script. So he's suing Gawker for $1 million, and it's not the first time. Other celebrities have gone after Gawker because they post copyrighted and private material, which is, like, dumb. Why do you have a website that like caters to that shit? I mean, it's so funny too because the editor came out and said, oh, well, we didn't do it, it was somebody else. But you're allowing them to still do it, you know? If you're allowing people to post stuff on your site, freaking at least 
go over it, you know, see what it is so you don't get in trouble. I mean, it's dumb. They don't care though because they're benefiting from it. Someone works very hard on something that's very dear to them and then, you know, they all of a sudden, this one website gets a hold of them and go, oh yeah, put it up there. We'll get a shit ton of traffic. I'm a blogger too, but I would never do something like that. Like I posted the scrapped Justice League script and the scrapped ET2 script. I mean, those are movies that aren't going to be made whatsoever and they were written a while ago. I would never post something that some talented writer and director just fucking made. I mean, that, it infuriates me, really, and I, I'm sure, I know Tarantino's fucking pissed. But yeah, it's just pretty sad. But anyways, that's all the movie news I wanted to talk about. Make sure you hit that like, thumbs up button. If you like today's show, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And also visit FilmJunkie.com for your latest in movie news and all that fun stuff. My nose itches. Well, Alright guys, I am David, the Film Junkie, and I brought you some movie news you can find on your own, but I found it for you and told you about it. You are welcome, kind sir and madam. Yeah. Uh, cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> Just kidding. I think a lot of people do think I do stuff because sometimes I do rub my nose and I drink a lot of caffeine. Yeah, caffeine holic. Hmm. Who isn't though? And I say I just scratch myself like a crackhead. I really <laughs> I just keep digging the hole. I swear to God, guys, I'm not.